for a sour wood with a natural bend. Yeah, that's why I started to say it had to have that yeah. bend. Yeah, and uh, he, he uh, loved getting that. It made a great runner. And it's, uh, you know, the wood, the, the grain is so gnarly, I guess it made it wear a lot better. Yeah. You ever tried it to split of, a sour wood? Kind of, oh, it was hard to split, kind of, yeah. The length of the sled, yeah. more or less. Right. right. And you know, sour woods, generally speaking, grow crooked. Have you ever noticed that in the, in the woods, they always leaning, you know. Yeah. Now, whose steel was this? <laughs> the steel? Uh, <laughs> Frank Gillum. Frank Gillum. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is Frank Gillum's over there. Uh -huh. and, How about uh, that? I, these are just some that I picked up and sat yeah. there with it. And there's one, when they tore it, when they tore his steel down, they'd take an axe, you know, and... and, and Hack it up, yeah. And, and it's sitting out here in that cabin. So, oh. But now he had... He had the... The know-how. Yeah. He he made it, and... Down there on Buckeye Ford, if you mm -hmm. know where that is. Yeah. And they couldn't find it. They thought he'd make it, and they couldn't find it. <laughs> and he, you know, these um, gallon glass jars, and he come up, and there's a glass ring on it. Yeah. He put the rope to that ring, tie a knot, and then tie a knot on the other side, and he had a little old pond, and he let them back <laughs> in the water. <laughs> they never did find them. <laughs> He's pretty smart. Yeah, pretty smart. How about two that? of the meanest boys I ever seen. Yeah. They come to East Flat Rock School. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can remember some of those folks. I want to go in quickly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Take we, a look. I won't be in time. Go on in. I, I ain't going to come back. I'm going to bring Cousin Donnie with me. So what would they use one? The, all the ones I've seen are more larger in diameter. Um, so a small one like this, what would they use it for? Um, what's his name told me? Oh shit, he writes a book. Wrote, wrote a book, Ben Simmons. Yeah. He said they liked this size when they made liquor. They ground it up and uh, okay. easier. Yeah, yep. How about that? That was not worn too much, is it? It's got some good grooves in it. That's um, it's two two halves, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and there's it was a on a house down there upward, and uh, Bud Huntley. I don't know why y'all know Bud or not. That's nice. It's not Buck. It's Bud. Not Buck the preacher. No. <laughs> and uh, he says you you take a, a rock out of the town and keep an eye on it, just like you're cutting a tree. And when it started creaking out, I went upstairs and just got a pole and gave it a lift and it just cleaned itself and come right on out. How about that? Come on in. In this beam here. Oh, wow. this is I, I love it. Oh, I can't stand it. Okay. Over here. So neat. Well, Jenny, we'll meet you next week. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Are you taking this next? We need to do this every week. Isn't and Ellen right? Busby at the Kerr Market did the paintings oh, on the goodness. windows and doors and things. Wow. Beautiful. <laughs> Jeter Mountain with my uncle one time, <laughs> and this is a beam that I've seen in a cabin. See how it's been cut, and it goes through the other side. It's got a you square have out there. All three yeah, yeah, okay. Did so you see come, the dolls? It comes from the, the other collection? direction with the same oh setup. The the oh, yeah. And they pegged it together. Mm-hmm. Wow. But I seen that when I was about eight or ten years old, and I just had to have that. <laughs> I can see why. Those old timers had ways of doing things, didn't they? They knew. Now, if somebody believes that that's holding it, 
that pen, but it's not holding it. No. Now the, the the original one in the cabin, it had a laurel pen just like that. That's all it had. Didn't have no metal. Didn't have any uh, nails. Wow. Well, some friends of mine just built. Well, it's been ten years ago now, I guess. But they built a post and beam house. and heard the nail in. It. Yeah, it's all awesome. paid, and it's and it was it was amazing to watch. Well, say you get by with this, probably. Uh, this has got a steel plate in it between these two two blades. Mm -hmm. Well, when you're putting the load above it like that, I'd, I'd probably want that. Yeah. But, oh my word. And that uh, stove there was bought by Nan Garrett. She worked at the uh, oh, that's a cannery up in Flat Rock. That's an old stove and there. That picture there is his 1910. That stove was 1921. So she paid for that. She bought that stove by working at the cannery, I would think. Wow. She called me and asked me if I wanted it. She was real, real old then. And of course, I said yes. Huh. And I cleaned it outside. I thought I'm going to put it on the top story. That's as far as I got. <laughs> <laughs> That's the heaviest one. I'm Good intentions. Now, is that a water check? Oh. That, yeah, you can crank it in or out, see? Okay. Or now, you want your water. Because I've got one. It's got a thing like a ring, it's called a ring foiler. Uh -huh. And so there's a water jacket in the firebox. And it's plumb so it goes out and it looks like a water tank sitting out here. And that gave hot water to the whole house. I got a straw maker over there that I made a sink out of. It was burned. The inside of that was burned out. I just knocked it out and put a sink in. I like these stories. You had a call in there. <laughs> My grandfather had one like that. What's that t fellow on TV uh, now? Uh, the American Pickers. Matt Masterson or something? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think about American Pickers walking this place. Well, they'd, they'd have a ball, wouldn't yeah, they? You'd never see them again. Uh uh. Now, that thing is a mess upstairs because I had a roof to leak. Well, you don't have anything to apologize for. I had to know some stuff. And, uh, You've got an awesome place here. It is absolutely is just amazing. Well, it's not it in good shape right now because I had to do some work with one room up there, especially. Oh, well, it looks fine to me. Oh, thank you. Oh, it is, 
it is such a pleasure. Thank you for letting us look at this, sharing this with us. We don't want you coming upstairs. I've already given them the tour. Folks, <laughs> watch your head right here. Don't look too good upstairs. Is it up anyway? there, uh, Not yet. I'm going to run up. There. Yeah, I'm going to run up in a sec. Watch your head. Yep. Your handrails are fascinating. Isn't that beautiful? That Rome Eagle Junior stove is almost identical to what we've got in the kitchen that we yeah. eat the kitchen with. That was the biggest seller around here, I guess, wasn't it? Yeah. Mine came from South Carolina. Take your time, man. Fascinating place. You've got. Fantastic. Where did the uh, wormy chestnut paneling come from? Uh, old Stain from Cook Cedar. I can't think of his name. So it was it, local. It, it was such bad shape I couldn't come and grow it and I had just had to put the little slats over it. It's beautiful. Beautiful stuff. We have a bookcase that's made out of chestnut. It's not yeah, as wormy as that. Watch your head. Cowboy room. We did, yeah. <laughs> that was for your time. <laughs> I remember part some of that. that. That was part of uh, that was that's before our time too. <laughs> I don't know. I hadn't seen it yet. Well, but I'm gonna get up there and see it. Oh, you're fine. Oh, yeah. well, you know, take your time, ma'am. Hey, that's uh, that's real care hat. I missed that. That's the reason I got it over there because I didn't want people walking on yeah. it. You know? Yeah, it's pretty. Larry, why don't you stay down? We don't we don't need you to come up here. We can well, we can do this to ourselves. I forget about things that are up here if I don't come up here once in a while. Well, we just concerned about your health. We don't want you to overdo it. Larry, I've got an autograph picture of Lash LaRue I'd have brought you if I hey, know man. what we was gonna see here. Yeah, when he when he came to the Carolina Theater. And I've got some shell cases when he was shooting his gun up there. Yeah. That's a pretty good collection in there. Oh, it's good. It's good for this nothing. I'm going to watch it. We, I went to a gun show down in Georgia one time. And there was a man there selling a bunch of Lash of the Rue stuff. I'm convinced that's who it was. He's getting better about watching where he's going. Who are you talking about, me? They, they were, there was some lady in the crowd knew something about this type stuff. Um, I'm going to tell you what, I'll trade you anything in my house for these goblets. <laughs> the little part with the... Have you got that? I, mine are clear. But... Um, there's a step before this. No, wait a minute. Step after that when they make the, the cloth. You know, the boot. Yeah, you had one upstairs. Jenny well, said that there's a lady in, that's going to be in the crowd that that uh, knew a lot about it. I was going to set it in, in, in turn, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, they taught us, uh, let's see, what was that? Pop Goes the Weasel? Yep. Well, I thought all, all around the mulberry bush, the monkey chased the weed. Have you ever seen one? Uh, well, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it pops Excuse when you go. When you sure. go I, no, I would not have. Ma'am, there's something else you see over here too, behind him. What is it? Something what you see. Okay. This me. I believe that's you, Larry. No, it's not. It's over here. Well, that's a that's a genuine one horse open sleigh, isn't it? Hello, that's the regular house phone. Okay, that's your light. Uh -huh. Your kerosene light. Put that in it and let it get good and hot. Take it out. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh my! A <laughs> hair curler. Uh, that's fascinating. But Isn't that's that amazing? Uh, so wow! You just run the wick up. See, it's, put it's, that uh, down in yeah. there. 
See that just heats it up, but well, yes, you can hit it with a handle and it won't be too hot. Here's okay. another one. That is too neat. What you get in the bear? Yeah. What is yeah. this? <laughs> What's this? That's a comb. Comb. Uh, oh gosh. Yeah. I don't know why they heated that or not. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Believe me, I have to do that. Uh, right. I haven't made it. Evans told me not to miss the cowboy room. I've got to get. To yeah, me too. Got to see that. Sorry. <laughs> you go right ahead. Well, you're, you're kind of, I would, let me go forward. Let me just get a quick one. Yeah, there we go. Sorry. Oh, you're fine. I know what it's like. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to hang towards the end, so I'm. Yeah, yeah. it's hard to do, isn't it? Yeah. There's just too much to see in this length of time. I know. Cases. I don't know where that comes from. People don't do that anymore. No, no. <laughs> but watch TV now. I have, I have some that are that with um, Grace Taylor that lived up above us did for me. Uh, now here's another room that caught a lot of junk that I brought from in there. Uh, this is uh, that's before the collars come out. For church, for shirts. Oh yeah, yeah. For for shirts or coupling, cups. Yeah. Now is that your white lightning? No, that lay away. I guess you're going to. <laughs> Now, are these yours or his? His. Oh. His. So he's I'm the I'm music. Mine. Oh, my goodness. My Thanks son too. would have a fit. So that's your oldest son picking with Grandpa Jones? Yeah, that's him. And then What's his name? Shane Ball. Shane. How about that? And uh, his younger brother picked with, uh, oh gosh, I can't think of his name. Really? Just gave it up? That's one of the most disappointing days I believe I ever had. They just decided they won't quit. Huh. Now I can tell you this. You'll probably pick it back up one I of these days. I can tell you this after they walked out. Yeah. Unless you want to put it on the tape.
Okay, you're going to have to tell me. Uh, this woman had it. And uh, she stood there and grinned with me to ask what it was. And she says, you know what it is? I said, no. She says, keep, keep the K from sucking. How about that? So it works on a man too. And I want you talk about being embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't hear that. I, I kind of did. did. No, 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 I didn't. <laughs> well, I, I thought I'd tell. <laughs> it's, it's on video though. He's got you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. You been here? Yeah, I have. I love that. I was a big Hopalong Cassidy fan. Yeah. And Roy Rogers. Uh oh, she's cracking the whip again. Time to go. Look here, you got an old record player. That's amazing. That's awesome. Wow. Thank you for sharing that. Yes, we got to listen to an album oh. up here. <laughs> <laughs> we had to listen to the Lone Ranger. We got to get going there. Wait, yeah. Oh, goodness. Okay, what's Do the next? Do you see the banjos and stuff? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I got to get them up there. We're going this for lunch. They had not eaten lunch yet. Come on down here so everybody's off. Lisa, give him a big oh, hug. I'd love to. <laughs> Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Good luck with your surgery. Thank you so much. Thank you. I wouldn't plan on it either. <laughs> I'll shake your hand though, Larry. No hugs, all right? <laughs> I've, been, I've been down a big hugger before. Are you going to any houses? Or are you Can't tell you how much I've enjoyed it. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed it. It's, it's been wonderful. We'll certainly be praying for you in your surgery okay. there. I might meet James. He was calling. And There's a lot of things we didn't see. So, yeah, well, well they just didn't, didn't have enough time. Didn't know it. They <laughs> went true. in all these. You just didn't know it. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of things we saw, we had no idea what we saw. But, uh, thank you so much. We appreciate you sharing. Thank you. Glad to have you. Thank Wonderful. you. Bye-bye. Take care.